Hey guys, how's it going? C Slice here, and today I got a little bit of a different kind of video for you, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to record all of the audio on next-gen systems, or particularly the PS4, with your Astro A50 wireless headset, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that today, because I know that it can be very confusing and very difficult. I myself struggled for quite a while to figure out a way that worked, but it's pretty similar to the article that Elgato has on their website about how to set up the uh, old HD or Game Capture HD with the PS4, but I got the new HD60 and I wanted to figure out a way to record audio, even with the old one I was having problems, so um, I thought I would show you guys how this works because I uh, struggled for quite a while to make this work, and I thought if I could make a video to help some people, that would be great. So, uh, first thing you want to do is hook up your HD60. This is pretty easy, so there's a lot of uh, ways that you could uh, figure this out. I mean, I think it's on their website, and it's pretty easy. So, um, But this just comes from your TV, and I can't really do this because I don't have a free hand. I'm sorry, but this right here comes from your TV, and this right here comes from your PS4. These are just HDMI cables, and then this mini USB comes from your HD60, it goes from your HD60 to your computer to record, and then you're left with this aux port, I don't know if you can really see it, come on, focus, focus, alright, but there's an aux port right there, you can't really see it, and that's going to be essential for recording your audio on your PS4, so next thing you're going to need is a few cables, so I'm going to show you guys a few cables that you'll need, I recommend going to like Radio Shack or somewhere, because they'll have most of these cables, and uh, it just would be an easy place to go to get all these cables. So the first thing you're going to need is a CTIA Y cable, and this is going to go into your PS4 controller right here. So basically what CTIA means, I think, is that it needs to have three black stripes, so make sure it has three black stripes, and uh, otherwise it won't be able to fit into your PS4 controller. And it's going to look like a, it can come in a cable form, but this is an adapter because they didn't have the cable form when I went there, but it's, uh, it's going to have a input right here, and then it should have a red or pink output and a green output depending on the cable that you get. They all uh, serve the same function but some of them look a little different so that will just go into your PS4 controller and you have that right there. Next you're gonna have a party chat cable and let me find that real quick. This is the party chat cable. It's gonna have a 3.5 millimeter end and a 2.5 millimeter end. You can find this at like Best Buy. It's called like a party chat cable but uh, I think you could probably get it at Radio Shack. Basically it's just a 3.5 to 2.5 millimeter cable so this end right here, the 2.5 end, if you can see this, it goes into your A50s, so that goes there. And then the other end, the 3.5 end, is going to go into that CTAY cable I just showed you, and it's going to go into the red or pink end, depending on the cable that you get. So, it will go right there. Next, you're going to need a uh, another Y splitter, and this is just a stereo jack splitter, so it's only going to have two black stripes, make sure it has two. And then this will go into the green portion of the... Uh, CTIA Y cable. I have really unsteady hands if you can't tell and it's hard to do this with just one hand but I'm sorry um, trying to make this work. Alright so then you're gonna have two uh, ends here and this is where your next cords are gonna come to play. Uh, you're gonna have two more cords and those are going to be aux cords so pass yourself a few aux cords. Got one here and another one right here. So uh, you're gonna want to make sure these are a little bit longer. This one's a little shorter because it goes from the controller to my mix amp and I don't play too far away from my mix amp but my HD60 I don't game anywhere near so I need a pretty long aux cord and this is about six feet long I think so this is going to go into your uh, ends of the Y splitter so right here and again you're gonna want to make sure these are longer because if you don't game near your transmitter or your mix amp or your uh, HD60, then you're going to want to make sure these are no longer, but otherwise if you uh, game next to them, then it should be fine. You can get shorter ones, but uh, I just don't game near them, so I got some longer ones here. And um, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. How long is this going to take, you think? There we go. Finally got it. <laughs> Alright. So this aux cord that I just plugged in right here, this one, is going to go into the back of your mix amp and there's an aux port here let me spin this around so you can see there is an aux port in the back of the mix amp here and I'm struggling again to do this with one hand I am sorry but uh, we'll just pretend that that's there and uh, yeah cause I can't get that I'm sorry but that, I hope you guys get that that goes to the back of your transmitter from your uh, one of these aux cords so then you got your other aux cord right here this is the longer one and uh, this will go to your aux port in your HD60, and I know you can't really see it, but 
that goes right in there so you got that and then this will go here eventually but that's just to set up your uh hd60 to your computer and your tv so that's not really important that's pretty easy to do but i'm showing you guys how to record the audio because that's one of the harder parts to do so that's the final setup right there you got your hd60 over here and you got the aux cord going to your controller and you have another aux cord here going to your mix amp and then you have the y splitter that holds those together to your uh, ctia y cable or your adapter and I would recommend this adapter because it's just less cables getting in the way of your hands when you're trying to play. So if you can, try to get like an adapter like this instead of the actual cable form because I recommend it because it's just less cables getting in the way. So uh, I think that's pretty important. And then um, you got your party check cable going from the red part here to your A50s. And that's basically the setup. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. I'm going to show you one more thing before I go. And that's just a few settings that you'll need in the devices uh, tab on the PS4. Because if you don't have these, and sometimes the PS4 will change these on, on itself, um, then you won't be able to record because it just won't send the audio to your HD60 or to your computer. So I'm going to show you those real quick. One quick thing I forgot to mention before I show you the settings on the PS4 is uh, on the transmitter here. Uh, on the back, you're just going to have your optical digital cord going from your the back of your transmitter to your PS4. And then you're going to have the USB here running to the front of your PS4 and to the, one of the front USB ports. So, uh, yeah, make sure you have those. It's basically the same setup as the PS3, but I just thought I'd mention that so that you guys know how to set that up. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you guys the settings that you're going to want to have on your PS4. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the end to settings. Then you're going to go to sound and screen. Then you're going to go to audio output settings, and you're going to want to make sure that your primary output port is HDMI out. I think it will still work if you have it on optical digital, but I'm not entirely sure. And this is just what I've had success with, and it would make sense because you want your signal being outputted to your HD60. So that's just what I recommend, but it might still work with optical digital. But uh, I would recommend HDMI out. Now, the next thing is important that you have this is you're going to want to go to devices and then audio devices. And it's gonna want to like this. It's gonna want to input your, uh, it's gonna want to put your input device as the USB headset Astro wireless transmitter because that's what's connected to the front of your PS4. So that makes sense. But it's also gonna want to output it to that same thing. So what you gotta change this to is headphones connected to controller. That way, all of your friends' audio and the game volume will all come to your headset too. So you'll be able to record your friends' audio and all the game audio because it's coming to your headset and that's connected to the controller. And that is connected to the HD60. So uh, that's why you have to connect to your controller all the way to the HD60 is because that's how the audio is going to go to the HD60. And then one more setting here, and I'll pop it up on screen. And this is within the Elgato program. Uh, so in the software for the Elgato, you want to make sure under your capture settings that you have the uh analog audio check marked that way it can uh pick up the audio that's coming through the aux port into the hd60 and then that's what's a lot allowing it to record the audio that uh, you're sending it with all these cables that are connected to the controller but anyways i hope this helped um if this uh if you have any questions with this make sure to leave them in the comments below and i'll try to help you out if i can and uh yeah i hope this helped thank you for watching and i hope you guys have a great day Oh no, nah. yeah, they want me to sell my soul. No way, no way. They ask how I'm living though. I say I'm a okay. Give me something I can rap to.